Hello, guys. Um, I just wanted to come on here and share what I have in my spirit. I'm driving right now, um, and I've got the phone on my uh, clip thing here. That's uh, kind of why it's so dark. But uh, I wanted to share what's what's on my spirit. Tonight, um, tonight I went to a uh, service over in Ohio at uh, uh, Open Word Ministry. Man, what an awesome service that was. And I'm not going to go into detail about what happened. You just really ought to have been there. Uh, if you knew about it, you really ought to have been there to experience it. Uh, so I'm not going to go into detail on what happened. But all through this wonderful service, what I kept hearing in my spirit, among some of the other things that the Lord was uh, bringing forth from the ministers and things, was, if you remember the Battle of Jericho, in the Bible it talks about Elijah. During that whole Bible, or dur during that whole uh, time, the prophet... I don't remember if it was Elijah or not, honestly. But uh, the prophet, God told him that during that battle, as long as he kept his hands raised, the army would win. Now keep in mind, this was a pretty small army. He said as long as he kept his hands raised, then the army would win. The army would continue to have strength to keep fighting until the battle was over. But the very second that he, that the uh, his arms went down, the army began to get weak. They began to get tired. They get probably began to feel some fatigue. But as soon as his arms went back up, they started win again. The moral to that story is don't put your arms down. It was Joshua, thank you. Yes. Uh, thank you, but Joshua. As long as Joshua um, kept his arms up, then the army would win. But the very second that they kept the arm, that he put the arms down, the army started to lose. Keep in mind, it was a very small army. But. No matter how small or how big your army is, as long as you've got God on your side and as long as you keep your hands raised and praised and in surrendrance to Him, then you're going to win every battle. But when you stop surrendering to Him, then you're going to find yourself down in the dumps all the time. You're going to find yourself feeling like you ain't never going to win nothing. You'll find yourself getting beaten down because then you've allowed the devil to come in your life. As soon as you put your arms down, then you've allowed the devil to come in and you've uh, allowed him to steal everything. As soon as you put your arms down, as soon as you put your guard down, you've allowed him to come in and infiltrate and take everything that you've got. And I'm parked now so I can actually look at you now. But as soon as you put your arms down, as soon as you take your guard down, as soon as you stop praising the Lord, then you have allowed him to come in and take everything that you got. As soon as you raise, as soon as you give your life back over to the Lord, and as soon as you start getting your strength back after the Lord has started blessing you again. Yes, it's a faith-based service. Yes, brother Buck, that's a faith-based service. But uh, as soon as you, uh, I lost my train of thought. As soon as you uh, raise your arms back up in faith to Him and praise to Him, then you'll find yourself getting your strength back, you'll find yourself getting your blessing back, and guess what? You better go into the enemy's camp and take back what you done let him have. Let me tell you something. God's always right there in the middle of your situation. Let me touch a little bit of base on something here. God's always right there in the middle of your situation, no matter where you're at. No matter what's going on, no matter how big or how small your problem is, he's right there in your situation and he'll take care of it. But you got to keep your hands raised. 
Keep your hands raised in praise and total surrender to him. As, a, as the buck said, as a faith-based service, keep your hands raised, giving everything and surrendering to him. That's the only way you're going to win your battles. Think about it. It's the only way you're going to win your battles is keeping your hands raised. Don't wave the white flag. Don't put your hands down. Don't put your hands down. Keep them up. Keep them up. Not like this, though. Because when you put your hands up like this, you're pretty much telling the Lord to stop. When you put your hands up like this, you're pretty much telling the Lord to stop what he's doing. What you want to do is put your hands up like this. And i tell you what I would probably do. Shape your hands like this, telling him to come on, bring everything that he's got because you want everything that God's got. I don't know about you, but I want everything that God's got from me. And you know, I'm willing to fight for it. I'm willing to go into the enemy's camp and take back what I've done let him have. And I'll admit I, I've let him have some stuff, but right now I'm willing to go into the enemy's camp and take back what I've done let him have. Because see, he wouldn't have been able to steal it had I not let my guard down and let him in. Sister Ellie, Brother Jesse, I love y'all. God bless y'all. Hello to you. Uh, Carissa, hello to you, and I, for, I can't really see who that, who the other two are, but uh, hello to all y'all. But uh, yes, Buck, I'm definitely praying for you. And yes, Buck, that is what some of us forget to do, is keep our hands up. We forget. Keep our hands up. Keep your hands up. Don't give in. Don't give up. Surrender everything over to the Lord. This, this here is a sign of surrenderance unto God. This is a sign of surrenderance. Don't wave your white flag to the devil. Of course, wave your white flag to God. That's also a sign of surrender. You want to surrender to God. But don't wave your white flag to the devil. Keep your hands up in praise to God. He is the one that gives you the strength that you need. He is the one that gives you the happiness that you need. He is the one that gives you the weapons to fight all of those fiery darts that the devil's going to send your way if he's not already. He is the one that gives you the strength to fight every bit of that. Every one of the monsters that the devil is sending your way. He is, God is the one that gives you the strength to fight all of those. To get through all of those. Sister Ellie Estill and Brother Jesse, they are both living examples of that, especially Sister Ellie. I'm not going to go into that. If she wants to come on here and tell you tell all all of that, she can. And Brother Jesse, they, if they want to, they can. But you know, they are living examples of that. The devil's agenda is to take you out. And if you take your hands down and surrender to him, if you wave the white flag and surrender to him, then guess what? He is going to come in. And he's going to take everything that you got. Don't even give him. Don't even give him an inch. There are a lot of folks that are probably going to be listening on here. One in particular I know of that has allowed the devil to come in and just rob him of everything that he's got. And now you find yourself at a loss. You don't know what you're going to do next. You find yourself in one, re one in the relationship, in the wrong kind of relationship. Well, guess what? The, the right kind of relationship to get in first thing before you worry about any relationship between a man and a woman is God. And then let Him guide. Don't let your own lust try to lead you astray. Oh, my Lord, I, I'm, I'm touching a subject here. Don't let your own lust and your own desires get in the way let me tell you something you end up getting connected with the wrong person then guess what you're going to find yourself in the worst trouble that you've ever been in in your life i know because i've been there you're going to find yourself in the worst trouble that you've ever been in your life spiritually you'll find this person dragging you down because you let down your guard because you've took your hands down and you've allowed the devil to come in through that person and now they've taken everything that you've got they've taken your happiness they've taken your joy they've taken every bit of your blessings all because you raised you took your hands down and you let your guard down and you allowed them to come in and take everything that you've got or should I say the devil through them now 
now that you realize that, if you do, if you realize that, praise the Lord. Now, pray for God to give you the strength and the ability to go back and take what the devil has taken from you because you allowed him to take it. I mean, I don't know what some of you are going through. I really don't. I really don't. But go in and take back what you have allowed the devil to take from you. Keep your hands up. Put your Keep your hands up. Don't give in. Keep them up. Keep them up like this. In a way to receive from the Lord. Because this is the only way that you're going to receive from the Lord is through prayer, fast, excuse me, prayer, fasting, and giving your praises to Him. God bless you all, and I believe that's all the Lord's having me to say right now. If He has anything else for me to say, I'll add to it later. But uh, God bless you all right now. That's what's been in my spirit all night, and there is someone here that that's for. God bless you. If you want to share this, you go right on ahead. You get the word out there. God bless you.